Suppose we have a square ABCD. We draw equilateral triangles AXB and CYD like this. Side length of the square is equal to 1 and let me say this one more time AXB and CYD are equilateral. We want to find out the length of XY. Now, how do we solve this problem? Well, let me extend XY in both direction to W and Z. First thing is WZ is perpendicular to AB. How can you rigorously argue this? Send me a written argument in the comment of this video. Now, if you know that this is perpendicular to AB, you also know that the length of it is 1. Because this is 1 and these two will be parallel. So, WZ will also be 1. Now, notice that YZ is square root of 3 over 2. Why is that? because it is the height of an equilateral triangle with side length 1. So if this side length is 1, then this will be half. And you can apply Pythagoras theorem to find out the value of this quantity, yz. So yz is square root of 3 over 2. Similarly, wx is square root of 3 over 2. So suppose this length is small r, this length is small s and this length is small t. This little green thing is small r, this little green thing is small t and this is little red thing is small s. Then yz is s plus t and wx is r plus s. So let us add this up, S plus T plus R plus S is equal to square root of 3 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2. Now you know that S plus T plus R is this entire length which is equal to 1. So 1 plus s is equal to square root of 3. So s is equals to root 3 minus 1. As a homework, you can send me two things. One, the argument for wz is perpendicular to ab. And the second thing is why the length of yz is square root of 3 over 2. It's a simple application of Pythagoras theorem. And you can apply for the diagnosis test for PRMO and RMO at www.chinta.com slash PRMO. If your response is good, then we will give you free access to that diagnosis test. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in the next video.